Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Steven Inks where we will be talking about the Pen BBS 500. This is a spring-loaded piston filling fountain pen. It is a beast. Uh, it's pretty exciting to hold in the hand because it's nice and uh, large and I don't have a lot of large pens. So we're gonna look at how this thing runs. We're going to take it for a test drive for some art and we're gonna compare it to some similar pens that have a similar mechanism that you may have heard of. Let's get it started. Another day, another pen from Pen BBS. So um, here we go. This is the 500 and it is clear glass and from their Etsy, that's the only finish I could find this pen in. Um, so that's what I went with. Here we go, instructions. It looks like it functions similar to the Twisby Go, but there's a uh, little bit of a catch to it in that you got to um, set the uh, piston rod there before you get started. So let's, uh, let's have a look at what that actually looks like. Here's the pen. Um, interesting, right away, I'm actually really loving this heft. It's got a little bit of heaviness to it. And I think that has to do with um, the mechanics involved uh, with the pen itself. And this end cap is actually uh, metal. Normally Pen BBS has resin end caps and or finials, I guess you would say. And um, that's interesting. So taking the cap off. Yep, it's a pretty heavy cap. It's pretty heavy on weighted towards the end here. So that's interesting. Um, this one's also, this one's got a, uh, an interesting little, get a closer look at that, um, that stamping on the nib. This is a round medium, which is different from the fines that I usually get from Pen BBS. And we're gonna see how that's different from the other nibs that we have. Um, if I take this off here, it's a very interesting um, setup. You don't usually have metal ring around um, Pen BBS's uh, sections. That's usually something that stays on the pen itself, but this is made of resin on this end completely. And here's the section. If I twist, I can get the nib section out. So if I don't like this round medium, I can replace it with one of several pen BBS nibs that I have and can easily swap it. Um, showing off the uh, the pen end here, you kind of have to, I don't know how to make this work easier, but to get this piston loose, you kind of have to push it with your finger and hope that there's enough friction in your thumbs to uh, open it up. And what you end up doing is twisting the opposite direction of how you untwisted it. And then you get the spring piston. And that is how you fill your pen. And this feels really strong and sturdy. So I can't wait to see how it actually performs with some ink. And of course, when you're done with that, you would screw it closed. Different from, and an interesting contrast to, the... Twisby Go, which has a similar spring mechanism, but their spring mechanism is hidden inside of the uh, body of the pen. And the end result appears to be slightly better ink capacity on this side um, and a more compact design. So I'm interested to see how else they compare to each other uh, because this pen, I don't use it much. It's kind of a disappointment to me. So hopefully this one ends up being a little more useful to me. And um, really quick before we go on to our ink fill, I just wanted to put them side by side so you could see what we've got. And yeah, sure enough, we have a longer pen over here, but it um, appears to be... If I line them up along the center, it appears to be there's a lot more length in this tube here, which could mean more ink. I hope so. Uh, let's see. 
All right, it's going to be three oysters huangto for the ink today. A special ink for a special, special pen. Um, this should look really cool going into, it's kind of an orangish ink. Um, and let me do this in front of you guys. So I push with my thumb and when it's loose, and I twist the opposite way. Okay. Let's make this happen. I hope this is as cool as it looks like it will be. Pushing in. Oh. Oh, that does look cool. That looks really cool. All right. Um, let me clean that off. And it cleans off really easy. There's not a lot to blot, which I like. Here's the question. I'm going to loosen this and push it back in. Is it going to blob any ink? Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. It comes clean. That's awesome. Well done, PenVBS 500. Let's play with you. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna give this a try. Um, again, this, this nib is a round medium, which is not something that I've had before. We'll see if it's any different. And just in case we need a comparison, I have also um, brought my PenBBS 499, which still has ink in it, so we can see if the if the nib behaves any differently from the traditional PenBBS. This one right here has the uh, fine nib that's usually included with PenBBS pens. So we're gonna draw out some stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Now, maybe I'm crazy, but I don't see a huge difference between this one and the 499. Feels dry. I do kind of like dry pens. As long as they still flow relatively well. It just seems to be doing okay. We'll see as time goes by. Um, just for reference to what I was talking about, the um, 499 makes lines like this. So let me just reference that a little bit to um, what I was talking about. It is a little bit thicker, but just slightly. It's not going to blow your mind the difference between the two. It does. This does seem a little bit thicker than uh, than this. So, all right. I guess it's a medium, whatever that means. Uh, let's do a little bit of 3D shapes. And... From there, we'll get into our actual drawing. Oh, another note about this pen, it does not at all post. Um, yeah, so get that out of your mind if you like pens that post. Not this one, it will not post for you. The Twisby Go posts, so you could get that. Although, in my opinion, it's kind of a disappointing pen. At least it was for me and for a lot of people I've heard who own them. Yeah. I still am in love with the form factor of this pen. It feels nice. I like it. So. It's the kind of pen that someone like me who has kind of largish hands isn't going to feel too dainty holding it. So um, I like that. And this might be a fantastic everyday pen for me. Um, it's definitely high on my list as for right now, what I think 
I'm going to like, and we'll see what it looks like after I've spent some time, like maybe a few hours drawing with it. But for now, I do find it to be very likable and comfortable. If you like larger, thicker pens, this is uh, it's nice for that uh, for that purpose. Okay, um, quick shadows here. I'm not trying to be too cute about this. Y'all have seen this before. It's just what I do. Um, and it's a good test, I think, for how a pen plays because you're gonna do quick lines, short lines, round lines, smooth lines, thick lines, thin lines. And uh, all of perspective drawing, by the way, is just this, this right here. Um, and uh, speaking of this right here, let's do some art advice. Um, I don't know how I'm going to say this, but now it's feeling a lot more medium. Go for what learning will have the biggest impact. So what do you like to draw? Do you like to draw buildings and cityscapes? You probably need to study perspective till you've got it down. Um, you like to draw people? You should probably study anatomy and save your perspective drawing or your still life drawings for um, when you've got a little bit of what you want down. So go for whatever the thing is that's gonna do the most good for you as you're learning to become a better artist and study the people who do it well copy their work if you have to don't post things that you copy that's that's plagiarism but when you copy someone and you keep it to yourself that's called learning um just my own take on it as both an artist and as a teacher who uh, teaches kids how to express themselves without copying off the internet um a something that gets harder and harder to do uh it's important to learn and learn quick. And also it's important to know yourself and know what it is that you need to learn. So spend as much time thinking as you spend drawing and you'll see improvements come faster. Anyway, um, that's up for my advice. Let's take this pen out for a spin in the real world. So um, interesting story about this pen. Uh, I've been using it a lot at uh, work. I work at a school, I'm a teacher, and I'm, I do bring fountain pens to my work a lot. Um, I like to write with them, I like to draw with them, I like to take them to meetings. Um, one of the advantages of fountain pens, if you're in a, a, an industry or a job where you write a lot, is that there's less pressure on your wrists, so you can write for longer without tiring out. Something that I noticed uh, early in my career as a teacher. Um, so I have been bringing this pen to my work um, and uh, I've recently had to stop using it during class. I, I bring it sometimes and I'll, I'll use it um, just during uh, breaks or meetings with other teachers because normally this isn't an issue. No one really notices my weird little pens but this one get so much attention from my students that they literally can't focus on their class. Like I'm trying to uh, help a student out, coach them what to do, uh, write down a few quick notes for them to remember while they're doing a project. And every time these kids are like, where'd you get that pen from? Can I buy that pen from you? Where's that cool pen come from? Do you um, pay a lot of money for that pen? Like all these questions about um, this pen. And, and it's funny because there's no other pen that I own, and I brought a lot of my pens. I don't really buy them, bring the more expensive ones, but a lot, I brought a lot of my pens to school at different times or another, and none of them have got the reaction that the pen BBS 500 have, has gotten. So um, it stands out. People notice it, and I notice it. Not only do I notice it, I have loved using it these last few weeks that I've been just trying to, you know, just trying to 
kind of drain it dry because um, there's a lot of ink in there, but I have not um, felt bad or felt uh, like I'm missing out on using any of my other pens while I've been using this one. It's just a joy to draw with. And uh, as I mentioned before, the medium nib feels like a fine from another manufacturer. So I, I don't um, want to change that nib out, honestly. I think it works perfectly for what it needs, for what I need uh, it to be. And, you know, I, it's becoming a cliche on this channel that it just I just like every pen BBS pen that I get. That's not actually true. There, there is, um, there are some negative uh, reviews I have forthcoming, uh, and one of them is for a pen BBS pen. So, be on the lookout for which pen BBS pen I don't like. Um, uh, to be fair, I I didn't have a lot of positive things to say about the pen BBS 480, um, or also the 489, which I recently received. Um, but yeah, this is another great pen from Pen BBS. If you are someone who likes to draw and you don't like to fill your pens often, you like to just have something that's available for you to draw for hours on end without running out of ink, this is great. It's fantastic. Um, and you can see that that nib doesn't quit. It gives you interesting shading with the ink. You could see the different uh, tones that I'm getting while I'm drawing um, this drawing. So. All around fantastic fun it's a fun pen to use a fun pen to hold it's a really fun pen to fill and um, actually and I, I shouldn't do this too much because it it makes it look like I'm not paying attention but um, in long boring meetings uh, that I often have to go to it's a really fun pen to fiddle around with to just twist that back um, that back rod out and pull it on it and twist it and put it back in and all that stuff um, it's great. It's lots of fun. So um, yeah, that's uh, those are my my thoughts on this pen, um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my drawing and uh, these uh, predicaments that these creatures find themselves in. And um, yeah, um, that's all I got to say. So final thoughts on this wonderful pen. Spoilers, I guess. I really like it. It's cool. Compared to the Twisby Go, I would say no comparison. This is the one I would get. Um, and according to Benny on Instagram, the person who runs the shop, um, the Etsy shop for Pen PenBBS, uh, this pen isn't that popular in the Chinese market, so they're not planning on producing more of them, as according to a recent a conversation I have with her on there. Um, maybe that'll change, especially if uh, there's a big demand in other countries. Um, and for me, uh, well, this is just a really cool pen. I've got no, um, there's no downside to it. The spring mechanism is nice and compact. The ink capacity is really good. And on top of that, it's fun. It's nice to hold in the hand. It's pretty hefty, which is something that I don't get from my pens very often. A lot of pens I have are pretty light. So um, this is a nice change. It looks cool. I can't wait to hear the conversations get started when I start uh, pull out this pen at my next work meeting. Um, and it's secure. It hasn't burped, leaked, or um, had any excessive flow issues. So um, highly recommend. It is really cool. And you know what else is really cool? you guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for being along uh, as I make these videos and show them to you. Uh, you guys are the reason I keep doing it. So um, I will be very happy to continue. My next video is coming soon. And um, in the meantime, please take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.